So I need you every day. Don't be scared. And I'm not going to lie. Some days I get on the scale and I know I ran and I worked out, but I had a, I had the blueberry muffin and I already know what the bread does to me, but I got to get on there anyway. So every single day, I want you to measure yourself and I want you to be honest, right? And here's the thing. We're so narcissistic that you measuring yourself on your own measuring it don't work. Like you can't say, see, you can't say, I don't feel like I gained weight today. You can't do that. You got to really get on the scale. You can't say you feel like. So me and my wife was out. We've been out of town quite a bit, right? We're trying to stay out of the winter months. And I promise y'all, I was eating right, but I wasn't really working out. And I had got on the scale at the hotel because my wife got on the scale and she told me what she weighed. And I was like, man, whatever. So I got on it and was like, man, it's junk. This some more hotel foolishness. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's some more hotel foolishness, bro. They ain't even get, this electronic. They ain't even got right batteries in this joint. This joint is broke, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even on this right here. And then I got to the crib and got on my scale. They was real close. I was like, I, look, I ain't lying. I got off, grabbed something heavy and put it on that joint. It's like, okay, we gotta reset this. This ain't right. Took it off, got back on that joint. It was the same thing. I was like, man. I was measuring in my mind, not on a real measurement. And if you measure on a real measurement, you're going to know if you're growing or not. It is what it is. You run a mile and you clock it, it's going to tell you. So a lot of y'all at the same place you were last year, because you keep measuring you. You keep measuring yourself and you sweet to yourself. So I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to have an accountability partner who could be real with you and get a real, get a real one. Don't play games with it. All right. All right, so here's the last one I need you to do. This is going to take you a long time, right? So I want you to do it every 30 days. I want you to come back and ask yourself and turn. Look, first, I need you to master you. So do me a favor. Go get your penny, like go get cups or mason glass. Just get whatever. And I want you to put you, right? Master you, right? Master your money, master your craft. Just everything you can think of that's a part of who you are, I want you to master it. So I need you to listen to me. I need you to master, not just do some of y'all doing what you're doing. Oh, I got it. You think because you put in 40 hours that you're supposed to get some because you put in 40. It don't work like that in the school of hard knocks. They don't care how many hours you put. They just want to see the execution. So you feeling in your spirit like, yo, but I did just as much as he did. I studied just as much as he studied. It doesn't matter. They, you just got to execute. So for some of y'all, didn't mean to do me a favor, like scratch off effort. Effort don't count no more. Effort don't pay bills. Effort don't get your kids through school. They need a check. So you proud of your effort. No more effort. Mastery is the only thing. That's it. That's it, only mastery, why? Because they played us. They put us in school for 12 years and most of us still couldn't pass those tests. So they gave you all those grades, but then you couldn't pass the test when it was showtime. And they just wasted 14, 15, 16 years of your life. Because when you needed it, you couldn't, you couldn't produce when it was showtime. So you just the same as the person that didn't go to school. Y'all got, got the same results. If I paid you all that money and we get the same reason, like if I went to all that school and I can't pass the test and you didn't go to school and you can't pass the test, the world I come from, we the same. You just feel you better because you got stuff on the wall. <laughs> but the results are the same. You didn't pass, I didn't pass. It's the same results. But you feel good because since you were a child, people rewarded you for not executing, but they rewarded you for trying real hard. And so now you want me to do that. And in the real world, they don't do that. They only reward you when you can execute. So you must master, that's the last one. What's your motives, measure it, get somebody that can help you to measure it. And then the last one, you have to master it or you're gonna be extinct. They gonna get rid of you and replace you. If you can't master it, they gon' they gon' they gon' get it right. All right. So real quick, come on, come on, somebody, just give me a couple people. Tell me what I told you to do, and then I got something I need you to help me with. Oh, the mason jars. That that go your jars. So master. So they go to jars. So master yourself. So whatever your craft is, put it in there. So whatever you do. So I speak speaker. So write on a piece of paper speaker. Drop it in there. At the end of the month, see how many gigs you did. 
I mean, we're going to make it hard. I'm sorry. See, I got a GED. I thought I explained myself. I apologize. So you just going to put it in there. All the gigs you do, you're going to put them in there. And at the end of the month, you're going to pull the gigs out and you're going to see how many. Now, if you did 20 gigs, don't get excited because then I want you to flip it over and tell me how much money you made. And if you couldn't pay your rent, you need to hurt. <laughs> you ain't mastered it. <laughs> we got some work to do. And what happens when you don't master something? You go back. I told you I was just at the school system. And I saw teachers who love the work I do. I saw, see, they were talking about how great it was. And they were in front of people and they wanted to make me look good. But I saw them get stuck. They was like, we don't want to betray Eric. But we got to tell the truth. And the truth is, we did what you told us to do, E, but after three or four weeks, we got stuck. And then I realized, yo, see, I do what I do so naturally. And because I didn't really do the school thing, I never document what I do. And there's some people that can't observe. When you come from the streets, you have to watch and you have to repeat.